Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Hope Lives Here. This is Apostle Dolores Kendrick, and I just want to just welcome you to our video today. I just want to encourage you. There's so much going on and so much happening today in the Pacific Northwest, not only the Pacific Northwest, but also in the uh, world today. But um, as you see, I am not in my home office, but at my uh, daughter's and son-in-law's home due to the fires and smoke that's in my area. And it seems as though there's so many things happening today that um, it's just uh, hard to understand some of them. Some of them we'll never understand, but we do know one thing, that we know that God is still in control and he is still on the throne. Nothing has or will ever change that. But um, I just want to encourage you not to lose hope, but to stand in the peace and the promises of God. That which God has said, that which he has promised, he's going to definitely do, even though it looks dark and you have to trust in what you know, not so much as what you see that's around you. And so in this area, in the Pacific Northwest, as I'm sure those of you that do not live here have read about and seen on the news that uh, we have had many fires in different places. Some of the areas have been burnt out and people have lost their homes. There's some have even lost their uh, lives. But, um, and when, so we look outside, we don't see the sun. We just see a dark haze or uh, just a yellow orange look uh, of cloudiness. But um, I want you to be encouraged uh, to trust in the Lord. Even though we see these things around us, we want to continue to trust in God. And, you know, that's the way our lives is, isn't it? We only see the chaos surrounding us many times, uh, the fires, the smokes, the trauma. Uh, what is behind all that? And uh, I want to tell you, a little true story, just a short little story that I thought was very fitting at this time. And it was about a little 89 year old woman who had never flown before. She was fearful of heights, fearful to go in a plane. And um, something came up that she had to fly and uh, with her family and she didn't want to, but she had to. And so as they took her to the airport, she was praying, she was a praying woman, and she prayed and prayed that God would do a miracle because it was foggy, it was dark, and it was cloudy, cloudy, just uh, frightening for her. And she couldn't understand how the pilot could even see how to take off, how he could see where he was going. And that was the fear. So as she boarded the plane and they got her all fastened into her uh, seat and all with her seat belts, she prayed and asked God to remove the fog and darkness and let the sun shine. And she looked at her daughter and she said, God told me that he was going to remove the fog and the darkness. And her daughter says, well, mom, he will. But as the plane, um, you know, got ready to take off and she still didn't see it and she was steady asking God um, about his promise, uh, they prepared for takeoff, they took off, and uh, she continued to pray. But as the plane uh, lifted up and got higher and higher, a higher elevation, all of a sudden, the sunshine, the blue skies. And she looked at her daughter and said, I told you the Lord would answer my prayer. He took away all the uh, the clouds and took away all the dark, uh, the fog and everything. She didn't realize that the plane had lifted above uh, the clouds of darkness, the fog, and had come into a higher elevation, climbing and bringing her into where the sunshine was so bright that she had to lower her shade. I thank God that, um, you know, many times this is what happens with us. 
um, we do not see anything but the clouds. We do not see anything but uh, uh, the darkness. That might seem like a silly story to some because we know that the plane was going to lift up and go over the clouds and over the darkness and the fog, but she didn't know that. And she was trusting in God. And we look many times, we forget oftentimes that the sun is still shining. In this area, we can't see the sun. It's hid by the clouds and the smoke that has come because uh, the result of the fires. But we know that the sun is above those clouds and above that darkness. And this is where we have to let our faith, isn't it? Our faith extend beyond what we see. When that plane reached a higher elevation, the sun was shining. And I want you to know when your faith lifts up to a higher elevation, when the storm, the sky is black in your life and the trauma comes in your life and it seems as though that you cannot see clearly at all as we cannot see here, all you have to do is take off like that plane in faith and be lifted up and know that God is there and you will see in the spirit. You will see in the spirit. As the plane ascends, climbing tens of thousand feet, you know, uh, up, it literally slices through the clouds, the layers, and then suddenly there's a breakthrough and no longer there's gloominess and cloudiness of day, but a, a beautiful sky layered with beautiful white clouds illuminating by the bright sun. And you might find yourself wondering, how could this be if everything on the ground looked so gloom, looked so uh, impossible for it to ever lift? The answer is quite, it's, it's, it's in the mature person that can look beyond that. Every experience of trauma in our lifetime, saints, uh, radically changes sometimes. And even the way sometimes we see ourselves, the world around us and your place in that world. But when trauma is severe, it can cover our vision. It can cover our vision of the world. And all we see is dark, gray, gloominess, smoke everywhere, the smell of smoke all over the place. But living you know, with that kind of overcast perception of the world can take a toll after a while. And finally, we get tired of the many traumas that begin to happen over and over and over. But we realize that the sun is shining. We know that the sun will shine through all the areas of darkness in our life. You have to look by faith of that that you do not see. You have to reach out and know that this soon will pass, but in the midst of it, you have to know that through all this darkness, through all this that we see, we know that the sun is still shining. Right now I'm talking about the S-O-N, the sun of righteousness is coming with, I'm telling you, with healing in his wings. Yes, many people that are living in a traumatic time right now and depression comes in. It's something about when it's cloudy and you have to stay in your home and all, it, depression comes. But look beyond that. And what does it say about depression? He's given us the praise, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And we can begin to praise God. And we can see that uh, depression can't handle praise. Depression cannot. Um, it, it, it's something about depression that it flees when praise come in. And as you begin to praise the Lord and give him glory, you will find that all the depression, all the weight, all the heaviness, all the anxiety where you just want to get out and do not obey the laws of the land, you'll find that all that will subside and you will find 
uh, God in the midst of this closed place, in the midst of the darkness and in the midst of um, this smoke and all this stuff that's around us. Um, sometimes all we can see is the storm, but let's look beyond that. Like that little woman in the plane, as she, uh, she thought that God had just moved that she thought the cloud, the darkness was still up, uh, you know, 30,000 feet. She thought it was still dark, but she thought God had just removed it. Well, that's how your faith can extend. And you can see where God will remove every dark cloud in your faith. Yes, the smoke is still here. Yes, the fires are still burning and all, but you're lifted above it. Yes, you're concerned about it and you pray about it, but you will not allow the cloud to come upon you and cause darkness to come in your emotions, in your soul. No, you rise above that and you give him praise. And I just want to encourage you today that yes, you can do it. Yes, you can. Try it. Trust the Lord. Know that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. No, you do not see it, but your faith lets you know that you will see it. How? I see in my spirit. I see in my mind. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. And I know the cloud burst is soon coming upon the land. And I know the land will begin to flourish once again. And my land will begin to flourish. So I do have something to look forward to. And I do have something to praise God for. Amen. So I just want you to, again, stay in and obey. Um, put your mask on if you have to go out. If you don't have to go out, stay in. And this too shall pass. But rise above it and praise your God. See you Thursday. God bless you.